Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be continuing on with the showcases and reviews of the placeable factories for the Ricciville map. Today we're going to be taking a look at seven different placeable greenhouses. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'll set a few things up and show you just how these work. So let's take a look. Okay folks, this is the placeable greenhouse by Oldman102. Don't forget you'll need the global company script for this to work. I'll provide the link for you down below. Just download it and put it on in your mods folder. Fall size for this is between 21 and 22 megabytes. Each individual greenhouse you'll have to download separately. Don't forget there's seven different ones. I'll provide the link for them all. Now the stats I'm about to give you are for all the greenhouses. The only difference is they grow a different fruit type. Price in the shop is $55,000 with a $50 a day maintenance fee. You're going to input three different things. You can put in either manure or compost. You'll need water and seed, 200,000 liters of each. And you're going to output tomatoes, pumpkins, cabbage, red cabbage, lettuce, watermelon, and cauliflower, 200,000 liters of each. And the productivity of this placeable is 4,000 liters per hour. So let's go over to the shop. All these placeables will be located under Global Company here. So we'll just go to the first greenhouse because like I said, they're all the same. It's just a different fruit type. So the size of it's not too bad. You can get a bunch of these side by side pretty easily. Like I said, 55000 They're all the same price, all the same daily maintenance fee, and they all input the same products. So they are kind of scattered around in here, so you will have to go and hunt them down. But uh, there's seven different ones, like I said. Tomatoes, pumpkins, cabbage, red cabbage, lettuce, watermelon, and cauliflower. So we'll take a little look around at this. I actually have all seven of them over there all set up. Hopefully I'll be able to fill them right up. I have all the triggers right in a row. So everything's beautifully labeled here. You can see you can put your seed there in the first one, then your water, and then your compost or your manure. One or the other. That's where you're going to pick up your product. This isn't palletized product. You get it in bulk. You'll need a tipper. He tried to make them all different colors so you can uh, tell them apart. There's the product inside. It'll start growing once you get everything in there. I wonder if these doors open. They used to in 17. No. But you'll notice too, if you get close to any of these companies placeables, you'll get a menu that opens in the bottom right hand corner that tells you everything that this takes and puts out and the amounts of everything. Then of course you get the nice sign here that tells what it is, the melon greenhouses. So if you're not familiar with the uh, global company, how you want to access that, you can access it from anywhere. Just go ahead and press left control and G. Look for the uh, placeable you're looking for. Just click on it and then go to the other side of the screen. Press open overview. Then click on the cabbage. You can see production in there. So once again, you can buy the product to put in here if you don't have it right away. You will be charged for it. And you can do that by pressing the E or Q key by adding one at a time or maxing it right out. Then you press the space bar to buy it. Or you can click on these instead. So yeah, like I said, you will have to pay for the ingredients, but at least it'll get you started. So when it's time to get your product, you just go over to the pipe and pick it up. Let's take a little walk up greenhouse lane, shall we? See what's up here. We got some lettuce to the left. We got some cabbage to the right, some melons to the left. See how I got all the uh, triggers here? So hopefully I can just scoot right along and fill all these up. Got your melons right there. We got some cauliflower to the right, some red cabbage to the left. We got some pumpkins. Then we have some tomatoes. So seven different ones, like I said. And all the silos are different colors, so you can differentiate them by uh, looking at that. So I'm going to get a few things ready, and we're going to fill these on up. All right, we got poop. We got all kinds of poop. A million liters of poop. Watch me get demonetized for saying poop. Okay, uh, hopefully I'll be able to hit these triggers from the uh, from the side. I'm hoping to just kind of zigzag along. I will have to get more. Because to fill seven, 200,000 liters of each, I will need 1.4 million liters to fill all these. If my math is right. 200,000 liters times seven. One point four million, I think. We're gonna hold two hundred thousand liters each. I might uh, do a little time lapse here. 
if it takes too long. What I'll do is I'll just drive it straight up and then I'll come back the other side and set a zigzag. Yeah, there shouldn't be any problem getting in at that pipe. Then you can just drive in. This is a pretty good setup here. Not too bad. That way you can just pass through here twice and get it all filled. If you got the proper resources, that is. So you got 600,000 liters. We're good for three more. So we'll get all these done. Perfect. Next up. Did I miss one? I don't know. Still got 400,000 liters, so that's alright. I'll just get one and the other one. If I didn't get them all. I don't think I missed one. Then we'll have to go get another 400,000 liters of poop. Okay, two left. Okay, folks, got a million liters worth of uh, seed here. We'll be able to fill five of them for now. Should look all cool lit up at night. All these beacons flashing off each other. Bouncing off all the glass. It'll look cool. Okay, we get enough for one more. And we'll have to get another little bit. Another 400,000 liters. Just like that. A million liters of seed. Gone. One more. All right, let's get some water in there and we'll be all set. Got almost a million liters of water here. production started up. This should look pretty funky at night. If you never noticed before all these factories, when it's green it's full, when it's yellow it's running, and when it's red it's empty. Cabbage.
Okay, we have all our ingredients in there. Once we get this perk, we'll go ahead and ramp up time. And we'll see what this looks like in the nighttime. Okay, ramp up to speed. Okay, let's slow down time here. We'll get a little look around at it here. Everything's all going still. Everything's nicely lit. All kinds of lighting. And everything is growing. So if you want to know how much you, there is in each factory, you can just come up right beside it here. You can see we already got uh, almost 20,000 liters of pumpkins. 9% full. Don't forget, it will hold 200,000 liters each one. So by the time these all shut down, you should have 1.4 million liters of product. Let's ramp up time again. Okay, we'll go through one more night and then we'll stop production. Okay, let's go get a tipper and we'll get these emptied. Okay, let's try to empty our silos here. Take the cover off. I have two bins that hold quite a bit, so hopefully we'll be able to fill these right up. There is our red cabbage, folks. Okay, tomatoes next. Let's jump out and get a good look at that. It looks just like red cabbage. Very, very nice. And we get some tomatoes in this bin. Make some ketchup. <laughs> Is that all our tomatoes? There we go, guys. Very nice. Look at all this beautiful, fresh produce. Okay, melons. Imagine the mess that would make if they were coming out of a pipe. <laughs> They'd just be splatting everywhere. That looks so cool though. Coming out of the pipe it almost looks like uh, Brussels sprouts. Pumpkins. Pumpkins and watermelon. <laughs> I love it. What a nice yield you get out of that. And look, there's still 85%, 80%, everything else left. Looks like you're going to run out of water first. That's an easy resource to come by. Okay, lettuce. And cauliflower.
And there's our regular cabbage. So there you go folks, that was the 7 placeable greenhouses for the Ricciville map by Old Man 102 Additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.